2020. What a year it was. Let me share some insights and start with the riddle. It's orange and it believes to be Superman. It is Donald Trump being kicked out of the White House in 2020 saying fake news. Just like he said about the virus, you know, that big disease with a little name, COVID-19, that pushed us inside of our bubbles from where we started to connect to all other human beings, developing all kinds of strategy to finger point. Who can we blame for this virus? Let's blame the Chinese or let's blame Bill Gates. Poor Bill. Poor Bill is no longer the second richest person on this, in, on this planet. That is Elon Musk. And in 2020, Elon Musk launched a rocket and the whole planet was watching it. But we should have paid more attention to what was really Three, going on. Two, one, zero, zero. Okay, if it's not Bill Gates, who can we blame? It's very simple. Blame white mice. In the late 70s, a very drunken Maurice de Maas had a drunken night with Douglas Adams. And Douglas Adams wrote everything down in a book that we now know as the Hitchhiker Guide to the Galaxy. And though the book is not very accurate, let me summarize this drunken story. First of all, the planet that we live on is not the planet and it's about to be destroyed. Now, if our planet is not the planet, then what is it? Very simple. It is a supercomputer run by hyper-intelligent creatures known as white mouse. It's not their first supercomputer. They already built deep thought to come up with the answer to life, universe and everything. And after 7.5 million years of calculations, Deep Thought came up with the answer, 42. 42, the mice didn't understand the answer, so they had to build another supercomputer to better understand the question. And that supercomputer was planet Earth. Now, what on Earth is a supercomputer? A computer is all about connecting the dots, and in a normal computer, every dot is capable of saying yes or no. But in a supercomputer, you need dots that have like 50 shades of grey in between yes and no. Humans are very good at it. So if you build a supercomputer in which humans are the dots, then you have a supercomputer if you're able to connect the dots. Plain simple. No. Because humans are very hard to connect. Humans rather kill each other than to connect. Humans are very good in warfare and they're very destructive. They were even destroying the planet, that supercomputer. So the super intelligent creatures were getting desperate because they were running out of time. Why? Because Earth seemed to be right in the middle of a highway under construction between one galaxy and another and was due to be destroyed in no time. So mice called the dolphins to help it. Dolphins are also very intelligent aliens. But unlike mice, they love human beings. They were trying to contact and communicate with human beings for centuries. But humans are known to be a very stupid species, so humans didn't listen. So dolphins developed the ability to adapt to a human shape. Now, there were a couple of experiments, but after a couple of experiments, they were able to send in dolphins to really help the humans, like Bill the dolphin. Bill Gates is a dolphin. We should have known, because there is one element, there is one way to recognize a dolphin. Dolphins can't dance. Just imagine that you are a dolphin locked up in a human body. You can't dance. It's impossible. Dolphins have tried whatever to connect humans. They gave us the internet, they gave us social media, they even gave us the most mighty weapon ever to connect, the smartphone. So, iPhone is like having your life in your pocket. Nothing worked. And so the super intelligent creatures had to stick to the very last result, the virus. And that worked. The virus created social distance, so we stopped killing each other. It created bubbles, so 
we had to stop killing the planet and it caused isolation so humans started to connect to other humans for the first time the supercomputing is up and running now there's only one question left when is the end of the world when is it going to be destroyed now it's in the book you can read the early signals when the dolphins are leaving planet earth saying bye bye and thank you for the fish that is the beginning of the end and bye bye thank you for the fish in dolphin language sounds like this and we should have known because we all witnessed this Three, two, two, one, one, zero. 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 We all witnessed the beginning of the end in 2020. And we should have known. Have you ever seen Elon dance? He is a dolphin. The beginning of the end. But nevertheless, I wish you a splendid 2020. Three, two, See you. Bye. 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 Bye.